And he says, well, do you know, is, 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 is it bully you need? And he says, uh, it is, Dad. He talked about it without any form of emotion. He just was, it was as if there was an emptiness there. They get me, he says, and they put my head down the toilet. And he says, who gets you? He says, and he says, never one. He says, there always is gang at them laughing at me, he says, and they catch me. And they bring me, he says, and the shove, he says, never a clean toilet, he says, always the shittiest toilet, he says. <sighs> never a clean toilet. He says, always the dirtiest toilet they can get. So we talked on and then, and, and to be honest about it, my heart was racing. I, I, uh, I never knew any of this. This was a big shock to me. To say to me then, he says, go home to your own country, you black Protestant bastard. And his mother is Roman Catholic, and I am Church of Ireland, and we had a mixed marriage here, and we had a happy mixed marriage. And this hurt him because they were deciding what he was by his name. His name was Hazlip, and they were deciding that by their own ignorance. I would be hoping that this is young lads just trying to say something to a young lad that can hurt him, to hurt him. Like, they said a lot of stuff to him. It wasn't all religion. They set it up fake Facebook accounts and as girls and tried to like uh, chat to him and everything and it wasn't them at all, it was the bullies and like he was so conscious of what he posted on Instagram, his captions, he'd come up to me and ask me, do you think this is okay? He was making new friends, it was great, and next thing the COVID came in, the ruination, it, it, it left it that he didn't get to bond with new friends as much as he would like. I said to the nurse, uh, I told her who I was and that the family had asked me to come in and be with them uh, while they were working him so he wouldn't be afraid and uh, she just shook her head at me and she brought me down to the room and um, it was obvious Eden had died. Eden was still getting horrible messages on his Instagram account when he died. People can set up an Instagram account under a false name, post their poison about him, and then close it straight away, and nobody can trace him. The Coco's Law, that has been introduced last year. If you have been uh, harassed online, that you can report that to the guards, and that's a, a, like a, an illegal offence. I don't think many people know about that. We didn't know about it when Eden died, and but if you're being bullied, report it, it's there. It's painful, you know, I have a brother I've lost, who's going to be my best man and everything like that, I'm never going to have, be his godfather or whatever. 